This is the island of Lesbos. It's a place between cultures, a historic melting pot of nations at the edge of Europe. It has given birth to the highest forms of human expression and has been an inspiration for visiting philosophers like Aristotle and Epicurus, who formed ideas of a simple life infused in human brotherhood. In 2015, a new wave of migration began when a surge of geopolitical conflict and life-threatening violence in regions like Syria and Afghanistan pushed thousands of fleeing civilians out of their homes and into a perilous quest for a refuge in exile. Many of these asylum seekers arrive on Lesbos by sea and end up in the Moria refugee camp. Moria is now home to people from 88 different nations. It was originally built to accommodate 3,000 people. There are now 20,000 living there in limbo while they wait to be granted asylum in Europe or for it to become safe enough to return home. How's life in Moria? Moria, not school, not water, not electricity. I am yesterday going to Dr. Dr. Klaus. I am today going to Dr. Klaus. Moria is often referred to as the worst refugee camp on earth. Both human rights defenders and anti-migrant media outlets focus their reporting on the tragedies, incidents of violence, and unsanitary conditions and use those images to support their respective narratives. It's absolutely true that Moria's living conditions are unacceptable, that people there have suffered unbelievable tragedy, and that there is unresolved tension and uncertainty that sometimes erupts into unrest and violence. There is also another very underrepresented side to the story. The Uplift project is an initiative started with refugees on the ground who create self-organized learning spaces for study, exchange, play, creativity and celebration and host cross-cultural events to lift spirits and keep up hope, especially for the children and youth of the camp, who account for around 40% of the camp's population. I need uh, to help because I want you help to the children. I'm so happy. <laughs> The project aims to highlight the hidden potential of cultural convergence and to share the stories of poets, artists, dancers, bakers, musicians, carpenters, doctors and journalists of all ages that compose the migrants' mosaic. Stories of courage, of dignity and resourcefulness to shift perspectives and transform the narrative about migrants as a whole. What happens when we support the positive energies and initiatives that spontaneously emerge? What happens when we listen? How can we acknowledge the beauty and resilience of uprooted peoples? What can we learn from this mirror of humankind? In this series, we will give a face and a voice to the people of Moria, people who continue to look to the sky despite being held to the ground. <laughs>